In Poland exists a city with streets full of hundreds of dwarves. Of course, if you have the luck to find them. Hi everyone, my name is Vladimir and in this video I'm going to discover the city of Wroclaw and the top 10 things to do and to visit. Um, I was forgetting even to search dwarves. Before I begin, if you enjoyed these videos, please let me know in the comments and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it is very important to me to continually improve the quality of my content. Let's start from the old town. Here you will immerse in the incredible culture of this city, and especially in the old square. For over 1000 years, the city has been magnificently reflected in the waters of the river Oder. With visible reminders of Czech, German and Polish rule, Wroclaw has become a truly modern European city and one that you simply must experience for yourself. The charming Old Town Square is one of the biggest in Europe and it's also one of the most beautiful. A dynamic soul of the city where busker music plays day and night and mouth-watering smells come from inviting restaurant terraces. Wait a second, are you wondering as well what are these statues? Well, I've been investigated and I discovered that this bar is the oldest in the city, having been established in the 1273. And in these statues here, there is a drunk husband with an angry wife waiting for him with a shoe in her hand, prepared to throw it on him. <laughs> From this monument, instead, they used to punish people in public. The bridges. Known even as the city of bridges, here is an amazing fact for you. More than 100 road bridges and foot bridges pin together the river banks in Wroclaw. The only places where you find more are Venice, Amsterdam, St. Petersburg and Hamburg. Dwarves. Hands down, the most original tour, however, is the one that introduces you to the local dwarves. There are already over 700 of these fun figurines to track down in the streets of Wroclaw. The dwarf hunt in Wroclaw is undoubtedly one of the most popular activities for visitors from all over the world. But how did it come about that the entire city is now virtually taken over by the little dwarf figures? It started with a political protest in the 80s, the so-called Orange Alternative Movement, to show dissatisfaction with the communist regime. Here, the participants began to wear orange headgear reminiscent of gnome caps. At that time, however, there were no bronze statues. The invasion began in June 2001. Since then, the dwarves have miraculously multiplied almost exponentially. By now, every conceivable variation can be found. Churches for what concerns the churches, Wroclaw has many of them. Amongst the many, we went to visit the cathedral of Jania Pizicelia. <laughs> this incredible cathedral has two towers. And for the price of 15 zloty, we had the opportunity to go to the top to see all the views of Wroclaw. In few words, I really advise to visit it. Worth considering a visit, there are also some Mary Magdalene Church, St. Elizabeth Church and many others. National Museum. Near the river, we can find a majestic building. This building, all covered by Hedera, seems like it just came out from the film Harry Potter. We had the luck to enter there for free. Well, usually it can cost around 5 euros. And it hosts many artifacts, with the undiscussed winner being the white saloon with its glass roof.
Near the city center, we can find the Wrocław Market Hall, built in the beginning of the last century. Today, it's not only a shopping center, but also a tourist attraction. In this hall, with two floors, you can find over 190 shops selling fresh fruit, meat, baked goods, and more. And did you know that Wrocław doesn't have subways, but only trams and buses? In Wrocław, you can find even lots of nature and parks. In the eastern part of the city, in particular, there are big parks where you can see Japanese gardens, the Centennial Falls, the Four Domes Pavilion, the Klika, an iconic, nearly 100 meters steel spire in front of Centennial Hall, lots of multimedia fountain, and the zoo. In terms of food, you can find a wide variety of good food here. Some typical dishes among the many are pierogi, plucky zemina kizane, which are potato pancakes, klodnik, which is a cold bean soup with beetroot, beetroot and eggs, and many others. In comparison with different other European countries, food can be very cheap here, without losing the good quality. For example, in the city center, in a very tourist restaurant, you can afford a plate with pierogi and water at the cost of 10 euros. And if you move a bit outside, the price can be even lower. Still don't know where to go? Another curious place here is a street full of pubs and restaurants, under the roadway. Here, you can have the opportunity to try something good while hearing the train passing above your head. And not only because of the amount of alcohol you drank. <laughs> and to conclude, Rotswag by Night is an explosion of people. There are many people out and there are many activities to do, from going to restaurants, to the many pubs and discos, or just simply sitting on the river and admiring the lights of the city. A curious fact, in theory, people are not allowed to drink their own alcohol around the city, except on the island Wodova, where many young people get there to party and meet people. Yeah. <laughs>